folks. Uh, I'm very happy to be here on behalf of uh, Credit Suisse. Uh, Credit Suisse is a founding uh, co-sponsor of the lab, and we're delighted to be here in our seventh year supporting the important prog this important program and, of course, introducing our next company, Dmetrics. Artificial intelligence is one of the technological megatrends of the next decade that will profoundly transform how we all work, live, and play. But as you all know, domain expertise is a key ingredient that makes AI practical and useful. Data scientists and, technology and technologists have traditionally been at the nexus between the domain experts and AI systems. Our next FinTech company is about to disrupt this relationship by placing AI and deep learning directly in the hands of the domain experts. And now, let me introduce you to Paul Nemirovsky, co-founder and CEO of Dmetrics. In his prior life, Paul was CTO of two startups, a musician, an accomplished artist, and in his spare time, he received his doctorate from MIT, where he focused on machine learning. Please join me in welcoming Paul. Thank you, guys. Uh, good morning. Uh, as Nick so generously introduced, uh, I'm Paul Nemirovsky, CEO and co-founder of Dimetrix, a company I started with Ariadna Quatoni, fellow MIT PhD. Uh, before I begin, uh, a quick show of hands. How many of you feel you need to read a lot before making a business decision? All right. And how many of you that just raised your hands uh, routinely write natural language processing algorithms? That, uh, there is one, uh, that is the problem that uh, Minsky solves. Minsky is our AI platform that makes reading at scale accessible to business users. So um, business users today uh, have to deal with enormous amounts of text flowing at them from everywhere and they have to make decisions but they can't without uh, the help of technical experts like myself. So whether it's analyzing reasons for churn in a million support calls, or verifying that all of your vendor contracts have consistent termination clauses. You just can't. So what do I mean actually by reading? So as your eye scans through this email sent by an insurance agent, uh, you start noticing decisions, motivations, uh, actions, and this is what Minsky does. It uh, reads uh, the way that you would, but a million times faster. So, AI is hard, uh, but not for Minsky users. Uh, we place uh, artificial intelligence in the hands of business users to allow them to read millions of documents before breakfast without writing code. So, with Minsky, really, the business user is free to innovate on the fly. Uh, imagine if I asked you to call IT every time when you wanted to create a spreadsheet and think of all the innovation that happened in the last 30 years because people are free to do that on their own. This is, uh, that inflection point is what Minsky brings to text analysis. Uh, your AI projects can now begin in minutes, not months. Uh, all of you in the room with business problems, you are the world-class data scientist now. Uh, so what really makes Minsky so radically different from its competition? Uh, three things, one, it's simple. This really can't be overstated. All you have to do here is choose what text you want to read, how you want to read it, teach Minsky, and then say how you want it presented. So again, uh, if I ask you to uh, call IT every time that you wanted to add a number into Excel, you'd laugh. Uh, but uh, mention AI to people and they start thinking complex, threatening uh, stuff that PhDs do. That view is radically out of date. Uh, it's, uh, Minsky can be used by anyone in this room. Um, the second thing is that uh, simplicity sometimes means a toy. Not in the case of Minsky, uh, it uh, consistently outperforms market leading AI platforms in uh, standard <coughs> evaluation tests. Um, and that means that business users get quality results uh, while the IT and the data science teams can actually spend their time focusing on transformational issues. Um, third is that uh, the sum of accuracy, immediacy, and simplicity is freedom. 
freedom to innovate every day as opposed to every year, uh, freedom to ask detailed questions of your data that you know matters to you uh, and get detailed answers. And most importantly, change your questions uh, as you see the detailed answers emerge. So for instance, uh, so we work uh, with a bunch of large healthcare clients uh, where brand managers uh, um, taught Minsky how to read millions of websites and identify uh, reasons uh, and write patients for their products. Uh, uh, in finance, thanks to the Phil program, uh, we are now working on uh, things as varied as identifying uh, customers that report a particular life event that can be targeted or uh, processing all of the information and that thing if there's PII where it shouldn't be, et cetera, et cetera. Mm. So thanks to the incredible uh, FinTech Innovation Lab, uh, we are now in various stages of engagement with the companies uh, on this slide as well as D. Shaw and others. Uh, and uh, all I can say is uh, thank you to uh, Maria and Sunny uh, and everybody at Phil and Bob uh, and uh, Dominique at Accenture and most of all to our 10 uh, sponsors uh, that have uh, given us incredible guidance. Um, so Minsky would not exist without um, the incredible team that we put together that are working incredibly hard to make sure that you think of Minsky every time that you have too much to read. We are 19 uh, engineers and scientists, uh, mostly from MIT uh, in Brooklyn, based in Brooklyn. Uh, uh, if you are a star in engineering research or uh, sales, come talk to us. Um, and finally, uh, I'd like to leave you with one last thought. Um, last week, I presented Minsky to 200 leaders of a large firm. Um, today, uh, their standard time to ingest and clean data uh, for a new project is four to six weeks. That's before any actual data science begins. I showed them how to do that. I placed Minsky literally in their hands and showed them how to do that in 120 seconds. So the new age of AI is about to start. Thank you.